Thank you so much for tuning in. So today uh, I have this old tray that I was using for plants and now I want to use it. I want to make it a little more interesting. So first I'm going to clean it up and then I'm going to paint it white. Uh, so the idea here is to create this kind of a shabby chic inspired wall hanging and the uh, first step would be to cover this whole thing with white, just white typical acrylic paint. So here is the first layer and now I'm going to do another layer of white. So now that I have a nice uh, white tray, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few napkins and I'm going to try to arrange them, they're different flowers, and I'm going to try to arrange them in a pretty way so that I can later on glue this and create a bit of a decoupage. So what I'm going to do is whatever I like, I'm going to tear it out opening the napkin let's say I like this rose and I'm gonna tear around the rose so this is how I laid everything out I think it's kind of cool so that we have a lot of you know flowers in this corner but that a bit less space and uh, we are gonna paint over this a little bit with paint anyway let's uh, let's start gluing these on so the first step of gluing these guys on is that sorry give me one second to put the camera down is to take each of the napkins so the napkins are usually made out of three layers for example this and you need to separate out the very very top layer so that it's nice and thin for us to glue using Mod Podge so there it is see the first layer then there's the second layer and the third layer so you definitely don't need the first two layers you just need the graphics so here it is put it down and do the same for the rest of them and prepare your Mod Podge okay so here is everything separated out uh, I put some Mod Podge over here and I diluted it with lots of water so let's first apply Mod Podge to the bottom layer so the bottom layer would be this iris over here uh, you're applying everything to the actual bottom and then once you have a layer you put this on top and then you apply uh, the same kind of layer of Mod Podge over it going from the center to the outside this way it ensures that the air bubbles come out like so And don't worry, Mod Podge dries clear, so it will be nice and clean once it is dry. Okay, so that's our first one. So, and let's do the same exact thing for all of the other pieces. And this is how it looks when it's all Mod Podged to the tray. The thing is, is that this tray is white, but the napkins are kind of beigey. So I have this little piece of um, spongy, and I have uh, yellow paint and white paint, and mix the yellow and white. And let's see, yeah, that's a nice color. And the edges of this can be a little lighter. And the edges of this, we are gonna go over to blend in. this is how everything is looking at this point what I want to try really is aging this a little bit so that it looks a little more rustic so for that I have the um, paint the brown paint and now I'm gonna do with the spongy I'm gonna kind of sponge the corners in brown paint and then again sponge it with white paint let's see what happens And now a little bit of white on top of this brown to blend it in a little bit nicer. Here is how the final piece is looking. So uh, I think this is where I'm gonna stop for this project. What I also wanna do is at the back to hang it up, I have this thread. So I'm just gonna take glue gun and glue this to the back of this tray and then have it be a hanging piece. 
So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.